안녕하세요, 린디입니다. Hi, my name is Lindy, and I've been learning Korean since 2009. Some of you have asked me to give you some tips on how to improve your Korean handwriting. So let's get started. I'm going to show you firstly my notebook from 2009, then one from 2012, and then my planner from this year. So you can see the progression of how my handwriting has changed. 2009, this was when I just started. So over here, I was copying a um, I think it's like rock candy, but if you look here, you can see how awkwardly I've written it. You can see the cuke, the G, K1 kind of bends a little, which is a common sign of um, beginner Korean language learners when they write. And my S looks very weird as well. It's sort of like one piece. Um, I'll get to the S right now. That is, the <laughs> that is not what an S looks like. And look how the, the kuk looks. The letters are just really awkward. I will get into detail just now. Let's move on to 2012. <laughs> okay, I just noticed this. At the back of my notebook, I was trying to practice the cute Korean girl's handwriting by making the Yoongs really fat. Um, <laughs> take a look. So you can see my handwriting here has improved slightly. Um, my letters seem a bit more geometric and structured rather than sort of um, stretched, for lack of a better word. Let's look at this page. I also tried changing my handwriting a bit over the years. So over here you can see I've tried to make it a little more cursive and a little more flowy. Um, I, I extended my vowels down so that they looked more fancy. But anyway, this was all a part of experimentation with my handwriting. And I can officially say I have my own handwriting style now, which probably is not going to change. Right, let us look at 2018. All right, here is a little something I wrote in my planner, just uh, some things to remember. Oh, <laughs> It's like, uh, forgive your ex-boyfriend and don't think about him, little stuff like that. But you can see my handwriting has really changed. It's a lot sharper, a lot more geometric, and I can say it's pretty more, a lot more established than it was previously. Here's another page. This was when I was um, on the plane going to Taiwan on the way to Hong Kong. So that just gives you a good example of what my handwriting looks like right now. Me and my to-do lists. Ignore the illustrations. <laughs> yeah, just a general idea. So you can clearly see the difference between writing these really fat, um, sort of stretched letters to where I've got it now with these um, smaller, geometric, more shaped, I don't know how to explain, but I'm sure you can see the difference. So let's get into a few tips about how to get your handwriting to a phase where it looks a lot more native. There are three things I'm three things I'm gonna focus on. The first one is the cuke, which is the K letter. The second one is the S, the Xi. And then lastly, it's a combination of letters, how you can connect vowels and consonants to make your handwriting look a lot better. First of all, we have the cuke, which is the K, the Xi, which is the S, and then a combination Ka. Let's start with number one. You can see that's quite curved on the side. That is something beginner Korean learners do a lot because they see it written like that in a textbook or on Google Translate and stuff. Uh, what you can do to improve this is to make it a lot sharper and more geometric. So don't curve it like this, but make it sharper like that. Next one is the sheet, the S. You can see some people connect it at the top. That is incorrect. It is two strokes and leave a little space here. So you start with a one big line and then you connect it sort of a, uh, one third of the way down from the big one. Like so. Then the ka. Again, like I've said, don't round your K, you can do it a lot sharper, and then your ah. Remember that your letters should fit into an invisible block. Okay, again, the she, not like that, not like that. I've seen many learners write like this. Sa. That is incorrect. It needs to be two strokes. One, two. 
A word that I want to use as an example is 사랑해, which a lot of beginner Korean learners kind of look up on Google Translate and they'll write it something like this. All right, I also started out like this. Now let's analyze what is wrong with this and why it doesn't look like a native person's handwriting. As I said before, the S rather connect the second line at the first um, little third of the first line. The A is looking fine. The rear is quite a big problem. A lot of Korean learners write it like in one stroke. Now what that does is it angles these quite incorrectly. Doesn't that look a little awkward, right? So remember the kyuk, which is Korean for K, and then niun. You take those and in between it you put the u, which is just this, this straight line. So it's a kyuk, a straight line, and a niun. Kyuk, straight line, niun. Kyuk, line, niun. Kyuk, line, niun. Do you see how much better these are looking in comparison to these. Okay, we already know how to fix the shoot. Ah, 사랑, he. The shoot has been fixed there. The rear, it is bending up, but it is written in the correct stroke order. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not that. Then you'll see that hyut has changed. What beginner Korean learners often do is they write the hyut like this. That is fine, it is not incorrect. But what um, not native Korean speakers do is they make it a lot more natural by bending the top line and putting it there. An alternative way is to do it like that. That is also perfectly acceptable. All of these are fine. See that this is starting to look awkward because you have the tendency to make these lines the same width. So rather take this guy and bend him a little. Let's take a look at how I would write 사랑해 in my handwriting. You'll see here it looks like the du, beer has been written as one stroke. You can do that if your handwriting gets to the point where it is almost like cursive. Just note that you can't do this if your handwriting is still sort of blocky. So it would look very weird if you have sa dang he. Kind of looks out of place. Whereas if it's in the context of cursive, it looks a lot more natural. You'll see here, the E, instead of writing it like this, I've done that. He, not he. What you can also see here is that this E doesn't look like an H necessarily. It's a lot thinner and sometimes you can make this end line a lot longer. So, see here how the second line is a lot longer. I've spoken about the ear that you can kind of write as one stroke. Did you see how it becomes part of the A? Ah? All right, let's take an example from my notes in 2009. Let's look at this 안녕하십니까. We can see that the ha I've written like this. <laughs> and the ka, I've sort of spaced out the letters. Another beginner mistake that people make is for the double consonants. They put the space between them very wide. They can, in fact, touch a little bit, so the ka should look like ka. This ha makes the word look like it's in a rectangle. We want it to be in a square, so that's a lot more natural. Not that, but that. 
You'll see here I've confused the pup and the mium. This is the pup. This is the mium. People often confuse them. Don't worry about that. That is just a spelling rule. This one gets people a lot. When they see it as a square, they will do this. Writing it as one stroke also gives it some strange angles. So how do we write the mium correctly? It is one, two, three. One, two, three. Lastly, let's analyze how I'm writing currently. Look at the new, kind of turns up. And the hago, you can see the e hip and the a are connected. And the o and the yung are also connected. So let's look at the hago, which means and. Incorrect handwriting would be like this. This is very awkward and rough. These are all ways that I currently would write hago. I tilt this line, angle it down a bit, and you can see this one sort of bends in, but it doesn't curve. It is not a go, it is a go. Like that. Notice carefully where the hi and the a connect at the top here. Okay. Oh, look how I've messed up my book. Oh, dearie. <laughs> Silly me. I hope this video was useful for you. Just remember it takes a lot of time. My handwriting only improved after quite a few years. What's most important is to keep practicing writing over and over. Just by reading and looking at other people's handwritings aren't, is not going to improve your Korean. So make sure you write it every single day. Also, don't feel discouraged if your letters still look awkward. My English handwriting also looked really terrible until about 8th or 9th grade. So it takes a while to establish yourself. Don't worry and fighting a You can do it. 다음 영상에 봐요. See you in the next video. Bye bye.